What's going on, everybody? Vince Goodrum here. It is Wednesday evening. Uh, I know I've not made any videos for a while. I've uh, been uh, having a lot of orders lately for medical supplies. Uh, I guess it's just that busy time of the year, especially during flu season, where people need extra stuff such as nebulizers. Uh, but y'all don't want to hear any of that boring shit, so... The reason why I wanted to make this video is, you know, a couple of people have asked me about the vegan gains versus vegan foot soldier uh, debate, and I've not really responded to it because, you know, I had to actually go through it, which took me actually a couple of days, uh, because, you know, just like any other debate, including the one I had with Richard, you know, the, this is like two to three hours worth of footage that I have to go through. In addition to, uh, you know, the post, uh, base, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, essentially just the post uh, remarks and everything from both Richard and from Vegan Foot Soldier. And it's become abundantly clear that Vegan Foot Soldier basically took uh, everything out of my playbook uh, during my debate with Richard. Uh, in order to make his argument, and that being is, is that Richard, a.k.a. Vegan Gaines, is simply not a vegan. He's not a real vegan at all, and the reason why he's not a vegan is simply because he wants to take out every single predatory animal out there, you know? And he continues to repeat it, not uh, so much recently to that wrinkled bitch uh, vegan teacher, uh, another crazy uh, vegan fanatic who, uh, well, I'll make a video about her uh, later on. I've already made one. I think I'll make a couple other ones. And guys, you got to uh, excuse me. I'm a bit tired tonight there. So, uh, but I still want to make this video to address things uh, on this. And the thing about it is, is that, you know, Vegan Foot Soldier obviously won the debate, not Richard, because Richard has no real argument about it. The only problem is, is that Richard's always going to have some sort of counter argument. He lacks any remorse. He lacks uh, the fundamentals to grow um, information that is provided for him. At this point in time, he has to know that his idea of killing every predatory animal is just completely stupid, and it'll never actually happen. And that report from Yellowstone is also a bunch of bullshit, too, as well. You know, the purpose of uh, wildlife officials up there releasing predatory animals such as wolves into the ecosystem is to prevent the overpopulation of deer and other uh, herbivores that can seriously level a forest and farmland in a very short period of time there. You know, not just deer, but also rabbits. Rabbits can be quite destructive. But Richard just seems to keep continuing on to make unsubstantiated arguments about that, you know? Now, this is not going to be a discussion about veganism versus carnivorism because we're talking about two, for the most part, vegans, which, again, I don't really count Richard as a vegan, but, you know, he considers himself a vegan. Okay, fine. We're talking about a debate between two vegans. And it's a clear indication that, you know, the vegan industry is getting tired of vegan fanatics such as Vegan Gains such as Vegan Teacher, and then there's a couple of other wackos, you know, that are running around there uh, going into restaurants and attacking people and making horrendous allegations and stuff like that, disrupting businesses, doxing people and stuff. But the biggest thing about Richard uh, is that, you know, his behavior for the most part hasn't changed now. Granted, you know, he's cut back a bit ever since he got into that controversy 
about saying all that stuff about John Meadows' kid and everything like that. But at the same time, all of these values are still uh, that he harbors, such as killing predatory animals and his idea of a you know, vegan planet is just simply unreasonable. It's unsustainable. And it's downright scary, too, as well, you know. Uh, and also unnatural. I mean, you harbor so much about veganism and you're talking about wildlife officials using a contraceptive gun or something like that. You know, that's probably one of the most unnatural things ever, you know. That's the purpose of the predatory animals. You know, their job is to control uh, that population. There cannot be an overrun of carnivorous animals. There cannot be an overrun of plant-eating animals there as well. That's what the ecosystem's all about. One has to balance out the other, which is done for millions of years since the Big Bang Theory, uh, literally. You know, since animals first came onto the planet there. There's always been an ecosystem in place to prevent one from taking over the other because if we have no predatory animals, we have nothing to eat because the deer and the rabbit will rabbits will overrun the place and they will tear shit up there. And it's happened before, you know. Animals that are left unchecked there, such as deer and rabbit, will completely level thousands and thousands of acres in just a matter of, you know, a week or two. Literally. Richard doesn't get that. What really scares me also is that he, I found out recently that him and Jasmine have recently got a dog, you know. Richard, during his debate there, said that he wanted to exterminate all African wild dogs. Well, guess what? You got a dog. They're relatives, they're cousins, they're carnivorous animals, they eat meat, and I can almost guarantee that Richard and Jasmine are trying to make this uh, dog a, a veg I mean, a vegan. That shit ain't gonna work. They already have a little dog. A, I don't know a chow or something like that. I don't, you know, I'm not good at breeds or anything like that. But the fact that he wants to kill every carnivorous animal, and yet he has three. He has a cat. He has two dogs. Those are carnivorous animals. You know, is just is just. Being a hypocrite, in other words, you know. So, as far as the debate is concerned, yeah, Vegan Foot Soldier won uh, pretty much by using uh, everything that I did during my debate with Richard. You know, the debate isn't available. He hasn't put it up. I don't really care if he puts it up or not. I don't get no fucking money off of it anyway. You know. Uh, but at the same time, Everything that Vegan Foot Soldiers said, I already said in the debate there, you know. So it's pretty much cut and dry as far as to uh, that whole situation is concerned. When I saw and finally played back the debate, it was almost like looking at my debate, you know. I'm just being serious with you here on this. Uh, but it looks like a, the wheels are going to keep spinning and Richard is going to continue to try to make this silly argument about killing every single predatory animal, you know? And if you're wanting to kill predatory animals, you're wanting to shoot them deer with contraceptive guns and everything like that, you are not a vegan, you know? Part of being a vegan is not just eating only plants or anything, it's about having respect for the planet there as well, it, at least that's what I hear from most vegans. I respect the planet too, you know, and stuff. Uh, but there has to be some fundamentals that Richard needs to actually learn. He's not going to get rid of every carnivorous animal. Why? Because they're supposed to be here. That's the way our ecosystem intended it there to be. If that wasn't the case, then we wouldn't have carnivorous animals to begin with. You know? But other than that, uh, that's really all I got to say about that uh, debate. Richard's not going to win any debates, but at the same time, he's not going to change his mind about anything. He's, he's stuck in his ways there, you know. There's no way he can change what he thinks. I mean, even uh, when he was talking about John Meadows' kid, he never even offered one iota of an apology. He just simply made a 
a distracting argument there. And also the same with Vegan Foot Soldier about running around in the forest shooting things and stuff like that. It was sort of like uh, the Nazi question and the slavery question. He asked me, it's a distraction. It has nothing to do with the subject on hand. When he, he just simply can't win a debate, and when he's losing a debate like he lost with me and like he lost with a vegan foot soldier, he resorts to these little fucking tricks, you know? I mean, so. I thought it was very interesting. Uh, at the same time, it's just pretty much a rehash of things that he already knows, and his counter-arguments, uh, that being Richard, are just complete bullshit. But that's all I got to say today, people. Like and subscribe to the Vince Goodrum channel. So smash that like button. Help a brother out. Take care. Peace.